Hello, and welcome to Technical School Pavle Savic and Novi Sav. Today we will look at what our pharmaceutical technicians are doing in the laboratory. They're making iodine tincture. Let's see how they do it. For this experiment, we will need a beaker, a precision balance, 5 grams of iodine, 4 grams of potassium iodide, 10 grams of distilled water, and 81 grams of 96% ethanol solution. First, we'll put a clean beaker on the precision balance and tear it. We will pour 4 grams of potassium iodide into the beaker. It will facilitate the solubility of iodine and increase the stability of the preparation. Then we will tear again and pour 4 grams of distilled water into the beaker. Once we have made a solution, we can go ahead and tear it again. We will now pour 5 grams of iodine into our solution. We will stir the solution with a stirring rod so all the iodine dissolves. Once all the iodine dissolves, we will tear and pour 6 grams of distilled water into the solution. We will tear again and pour 81 grams of 96% ethanol solution into the solution. Now, we will stir so everything dissolves. The iodine reacts with the water from ethanol to form hydroiodic and hypoiodous acid. The hydroiodic acid continues to react with ethanol and forms ethyl iodine while hypoiodous acid partially converts ethanol by oxidation to azaldehyde. Standing of the preparation in absence of potassium iodide in the solution results in formation of acetic acid from azaldehyde, which on the site of application irritates and causes itching. But with potassium iodide, the formation of hypoiodous acid is prevented because the potassium iodide forms a complex with iodine and thus stabilizes the preparation. The preparation is a dark reddish brown liquid that smells like iodine and ethanol. We will pour the iodine tincture into the brown reagent bottle and label the final product. What is a tincture of iodine used for? Well, as a 5% solution, it is used for external use as an antiseptic and is infected for shallow wounds, scratches, and cuts on the skin and for smaller bacterial infections. It is used for disinfection of healthy skin and its sterilization before any surgical procedure. A diluted 0.3% solution is used as mouthwash. Here's a fun fact. If you put the iodine tincture on your arm and go to bed, if you wake up and see that there's a yellow smudge on your skin, that means you have enough iodine in your body. But if your skin absorbs it, that means you don't have enough iodine. That's it for today. We hope you learned something new, and we'll see you next time.